Jesus is tenderly calling you home, calling today, calling today. Why from the sunshine of love will you roam, father and father from is calling the weary to rest, calling today, calling today. Bring him your burden and you shall be blessed. He will not turn you away. is waiting oh, to him now waiting today waiting today come with your sin at his feet lowly bow come and no longer delay Jesus is pleading oh hear now his voice hear him today hear him they who believe on his name shall rejoice quickly arise and away. Good morning, and welcome to our worship. I am Pastor Keith Wise, pastor of the Lutheran Church of the Good Shepherd here and chaplain for the Good Shepherd community. It's great to see all of you here in the chapel. It's good to welcome all of you watching on Channel 64 here at Good Shepherd, and it's good to welcome all of you joining us on Facebook Live. If you are watching on Facebook, if you'd let us know in the comments, we'd greatly appreciate that. A couple announcements before we officially begin. I will be out of the office on Tuesday afternoon uh, for Dr. Niles' funeral at Trinity Lutheran. And beginning this Thursday, for those of you watching and any of you here who may be Roman Catholic, uh, Roman Catholic residents can begin to attend the Mass. Um, I had the date wrong last week. It's actually this Thursday. And we'll alternate Thursdays. So this Thursday, apartment residents may attend the Mass. Ne the Thursday after that, will be nursing home residents' turn to attend the Mass. 
and rosary, as usual, begins at 1.30 before that. Today is the second Sunday after Holy Trinity, and our theme for the sermon comes from the Gospel. You're invited. Come on in. After my prayers at the altar, we'll join together in our prayer before worship. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. I was glad when they said to me, let us go into the house of the Lord. I will go to the altar of God, to God my exceeding joy. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end, amen. Take away from us our iniquities, we beseech thee, O Lord that with pure minds we may be made worthy to enter into the Holy of Holies. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please join me in our prayer before worship, which is Psalm 34, verses 1 and 2. Let us pray. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make its boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear of it and be glad. O magnify the Lord with me, and let us exalt his name together. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Here we beseech thee, O Lord, the prayers of thy people, and spare those who confess their sins unto thee, that thou mayst bestow upon us both pardon and peace. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us confess our sins to God our Father. I confess to God Almighty before the whole company of heaven and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have sinned in thought, word, and deed by my fault, by my own fault, by my own most grievous fault. Wherefore, I pray God Almighty to have mercy on me Forgive me all my sins, and bring me to everlasting life. Amen. Upon this, your confession, I, by virtue of my office as a called and ordained servant of the word, announce the grace of God unto all of you. And in the stead and by the command of our Lord Jesus Christ, I forgive you all your sins. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. As the altar is sensed, you may pray the prayer there silently as we prepare for our opening verses. Let my prayer be set before you as incense, the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice. And I saw the seven angels who stand before God, and to them were given seven trumpets. Then another angel, having a golden censer, came and stood at the altar. 
He was given much incense that he should offer it with the prayers of all the saints upon the golden altar which was before the throne. And the smoke of the incense with the prayers of the saints ascended before God from the angel's hand. Amen and amen. Our opening verses today are from Psalm 18. I will love you, O Lord, my strength. The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer, my God, my strength in whom I will trust, my shield and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. I will call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised, so shall I be saved from my enemies. As for God, his way is perfect. The word of the Lord is proven. He is a shield to all who trust in him. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Kyrie eleison, Lord have mercy. Christe eleison, Christ have mercy. Kyrie eleison, Lord have mercy. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Let us pray. O Lord, you never fail to help and govern those whom you bring up in your steadfast fear and love. Make us to have a perpetual fear and love of your holy name. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, ever one God, world without end. Amen. Cleanse my mind and my heart and my lips, Almighty God, that I may worthily proclaim your holy word. Amen. A reading from Ephesians chapter 2. Now, in Christ Jesus, you who once were far off have been brought near by the blood of Christ. For he himself is our peace, who has made both one and has broken down the middle wall of separation, having abolished in his flesh the enmity, 
that is, the law of commandments contained in ordinances, so as to create in himself one new man from the two, thus making peace and that he might reconcile them both to God in one body through the cross, thereby putting to death the enmity. And he came and preached peace to you who were afar off and to those who were near. For through him we both have access by one Spirit to the Father. Now, therefore, you are no longer strangers and foreigners, but fellow citizens with the saints and members of the household of God, having been built on the foundation of the apostles and prophets, Jesus Christ himself being the chief cornerstone, in whom the whole building being fitted together grows into a holy temple in the Lord, in whom you, are be, you also are being built together for a dwelling place of God in the Spirit. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. I will praise the Lord according to his righteousness and will sing praise to the name of the Lord Most High, Alleluia, alleluia. The Holy Gospel according to St. Luke, the 14th chapter. Glory be to thee, O Lord. Now, when one of those who sat at the table with Jesus heard these things, he said to him, Blessed is he who shall eat bread in the kingdom of God. Then Jesus said to him, A certain man gave a great supper and invited many, and sent his servant at supper time to say to those who were invited, Come, for all things are now ready. But they all with one accord began to make excuses. The first said to him, I have bought a piece of ground and I must go and see it. I asked you to have me excused. And another said, I have bought five yoke of oxen and I am going to test them. I ask you to have me excused. Still another said, I have married a wife and therefore I cannot come. So that servant came and reported these things to his master. Then the master of the house, being angry, said to his servant, Go out quickly into the streets and lanes of the city and bring in here the poor and the maimed and the lame and the blind. And the servant said, Master, it is done as you commanded and still there is room. Then the master said to the servant, Go out into the highways and hedges and compel them to come in that my house may be filled. For I say to you that none of those men who were invited shall taste my supper. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise be to thee, O Christ. By the gospel word today, may our sins be done away. Amen. We confess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen.
May the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be pleasing in thy sight, O Lord, my rock and my redeemer. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray. Our psalm prayer today is Psalm 122, verse 1. I was glad when they said to me, Let us go into the house of the Lord. Amen and amen. Christ invites all, everybody, every one of you, all of y'all, as we say where I grew up, Christ invites everyone to his house for supper. In our gospel today, he tells a story that makes exactly that point. In the story, a man invites some people to supper. But when supper is ready, they've all got better things to do. So he sends his servant out into the lanes of the city and then into the highways and the hedges, the unsafe places where the bad people hang out. And so he filled his house with regular folks going on about their business, with hitchhikers walking the highways, with bandits planning on assaulting and robbing the hitchhikers and the walkers, with people who lived on the street, with the sick, with the poor and the maim and the lamed and the blind, the man gave the great supper and he filled every seat in his house with people like you and me. People who live in nursing homes or stay here for a while because they need help with everyday life. He filled up his house and his supper with people who gave up their beloved homes to live in small rooms and apartments so they could get the kind of help they need. The man filled up his home and his great supper with people who are sick, maimed, lame, poor, even dying, just like us. Those are the kinds of people he ended up welcoming into his supper in that story. And the man in that story is none other than God the Father, and the people who end up eating supper in his house are none other than you and me and all the people he has called. Even people who we think aren't as good as us. The people who say, oh, I'll never make it into heaven. I'm nowhere near good enough. You're exactly the kind of person God invites to his house and his supper. Or that person who says, the church will probably catch on fire if I came more often than on Christmas and Easter. Well, let me tell you something. I didn't do a scientific study, but I'm pretty certain a church has never caught on fire because a sinner walked in. All of y'all are in here today. And the only fire is the fire we're supposed to have. God doesn't call. God does not invite perfect people into his church. 
God invites sinners to his house. And once here, he perfects us into the people he wants us to be by joining us to his beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. And today, through this gospel, God invites you, sinner that you are, to come and have supper with him at his house. Whether you've just bought some land and need to go try it out, whether you just bought some livestock and need to go try it out, whether you just got a wife and need to go try her out, which is the sense of the pattern in the story. God invites you to his supper. Whether you live on the street or in a nursing home or in an apartment with help from assisted living, God invites you to his supper. Whether you are running from the law, hiding from the law, or breaking the law right now, God invites you to his supper. Whether you're rich or poor, young or old, healthy or sick, fat or skinny, smart or not so smart, healthy as a horse or one breath away from dying, none of that matters one bit. God invites you to his supper. If you're high on drugs, dealing drugs, drunk on alcohol, contemplating suicide because you think nobody cares one least little bit about you, well, God invites you here to his supper. You get the idea? And God intends to fill up his house with people like you and me from the highways and the hedges and the byways and the nursing homes and the scary hotels down on St. Germain and go on and on. God intends to fill up his house with sinners and make them his saints. God intends to fill up his house with people just like you. He tells his servant, see, he won't have any of this empty seats at his table kind of business. He says, compel them to come in that my house may be filled, not half full, not three quarters full, not one seat empty, but compel them to come in that my house may be filled. Today, God says the same to us. God sends us Jesus to compel us to come into his house that his holy house may be filled. That house here on earth is the church. That house is heaven up above. The meal is the marriage supper of the Lamb that goes on without ending. And your ticket in is this invitation right here from God himself in Jesus Christ. You're invited, so come on in. And when you come into God's house, he will not only feed you the best food with the choice wines, but he will also, also teach you all his divine wisdom from his word in the Bible. He will wash you clean of all your sins and all your baggage and all your embarrassment and all your shame from the past and all your confusion about why this life is the way it is with water and His Word in holy baptism. He will hear your confession and don't be afraid to offer it. God already knows what you did. You're just admitting it to Him now. He will hear your confession and he will give, forgive your sins with his holy word of absolution for the sake of his son Jesus Christ and he will feed you the body and blood of Jesus Christ, the word made flesh 
for your forgiveness, life, and salvation in a little taste right here and now of that meal he's invited you into for eternity. Jesus Christ, God in the flesh, is your invitation to the great feast of God. Jesus Christ, crucified for your sins, is your invitation to the eternal supper of God. Jesus Christ, risen from the dead for your justification, is your invitation to the marriage supper of the Lamb. Jesus Christ ascended to the right hand of God to lay down the path for you to follow him into heaven is your invitation to follow him out of your grave on the last day into heaven and to your seat at the marriage banquet of the Lamb and into eternal life in the new heavens and the new earth where the feast never ends. You're invited, so come on in. Come on in to church here at Good Shepherd. Come on in to the house of the Lord. Come on in to where God hands out forgiveness, life, and salvation. Come on in. Repent of your sin and sit down next to another sinner invited in and perfected by God's mercy in Christ Jesus our Lord. Come on in and pray and worship with the saints on earth and the saints in heaven. Come on in and pray and worship in thanksgiving for God's salvation for your body and soul. Come on in, sinner that you are, and God will lay out before you a feast of blessing and mercy and forgiveness and holiness like you've never experienced before. Come on in. Now, if you've been making excuses, quit. If you've got better things to do, don't make excuses to God. That doesn't mean squat to Him. Give up that sinful nonsense. Make God, His invitation to His eternal supper, the number one priority in your life over land, over livestock, over wife, over husband, over whatever it is that is keeping you out of his house. Quit that sin and come on in. And you'll find blessings greater than any of those earthly things ever gave you. In Revelation chapter 19, the voice from heaven tells St. John, he says, blessed are those who are called to the marriage supper of the Lamb. Blessed are you is what that means. Because today God has invited you to the marriage supper of the Lamb. He's invited you to the great feast in his heavenly house filled with sinners whom he has perfected into saints by the grace of our crucified and risen Lord Jesus Christ. By his mercy, by his sacrifice, by his blood, by his salvation, God makes you worthy to join in his feast. So what are you waiting for? You're invited. Come on in. Come on in to a great meal, a wonderful sense of peace, and the most joy you've ever known in your life. Come on in to a perfection beyond your imagination, a vision so glorious you cannot wrap your mind around it now. A life that never ends and a body that is perfect. Come on in, brothers and sisters, to a beauty so unspeakable there are not words to describe it. 
come on into a life so full and so blessed that only the Holy Spirit can provide it, can sustain it, and keep it going with and in you. Come on in to a life so rich and abundant it can only be from God. For Jesus says in John chapter 10, I have come that they may have life and have it to the full. You're invited, so come on in. Amen and amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray. Gracious Heavenly Father, grant us grace by your Holy Spirit to answer your invitation and join you in the eternal heavenly feast you have prepared for us. Keep us always in the faith that your blessing awaits us in eternity and that by your grace in Christ Jesus, your invitation always stands and you will bless us beyond our imagining. Bless your church throughout the world that she may cling to your promises, trust in your word, and and stay true to the teaching of your son Jesus Christ, his apostles, and those who follow in the true faith. Protect all Christians from persecution and danger and strengthen the faith under such persecution that they may remain steadfast through every trial. Bless this fallen world with your word that all those who make excuses and refuse your invitation may be converted and join us in the blessings of the kingdom of God. Bless our brothers who stand in need and who have asked for our prayers, especially Ingrid and her family, Faith and Emily and their family, Boyd and Joanne, Mary and Jen, Joanne, Bill, Pat, Maya, Joanne and her family, Donna and Otto and their family, Jane, Daryl, Rick, Tracy, Jerry, Inez, Annie, Ralph and Susan, Dan, Gail and Jason, Peg and her family and friends in need, Bruce, Janelle, Joe, Ron, Jenna, Betty, Jean, Carol, Russell, Watson, Joni, Dorothy, Tom, Don, Carol, Brian, Sherry's daughter, Bonnie, Becky, Mary, Alvin, Betty, all who suffer from COVID-19, all who live, work, and worship at Good Shepherd and Shepherd of Grace, all healthcare workers, all who suffer the effects of natural disasters, all who are oppressed, all who cry out for justice, all Christians, especially those who are persecuted for their faith. Lord of life, as you have promised to receive our blessed dead into the hallowed rest of the saints in the light of your heavenly mansions, Especially today, we pray for our sisters Harriet and Roberta and our brother Vernon. As we pray for all our beloved dead, grant them peaceful rest with all the saints until the great and glorious day of the Lord when you will raise them up to live forever in the new heavens and the new earth. Until that day, deal graciously with all those who mourn that casting every care on you, they may know the consolation of your love the certainty of the resurrection, and the unfailing hope of everlasting life with Christ. Almighty and most merciful God, our Heavenly Father, we, your erring children, humbly confess unto you that we have justly deserved the chastening which for our sins you have sent upon us in this COVID pandemic. 
but we beg you of your boundless goodness to grant us true repentance, graciously to forgive our sins, to remove from us or to lighten our merited punishment, and to take this plague away from us. Strengthen us by your grace, that as obedient children we may be subject to your will and bear our afflictions in patience. Lord, we give you thanks for all the saints who have gone before us into rest and glory. Especially today, we thank you for the Blessed Virgin Mary, her faithful spouse and guardian of Jesus, St. Joseph, Joseph, St. Barnabas, the Apostle, and all the bishops who took part in the Council of Nicaea in A.D. 325. Grant us faith like theirs that answers your invitation to the great feast of heaven and the marriage supper of the Lamb. These and all our prayers we raise up before you, O God, trusting in your mercy. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, ever one God, world without end. Amen. I will wash my hands in innocence, so I will go about your altar, O Lord, that I, may, that I may proclaim with the voice of thanksgiving and tell of all your wondrous works. Grant that I may administer thy blessed sacrament to the praise and glory of thy holy name and for the good of thy saints gathered here and for the upbuilding of thy holy church. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Receive, O Lord, the sacrifice of our thanks and praise, and grant us the continual help of your presence in this holy sacrament. Through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen.
The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up unto the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is meet and right so to do. It is truly meet, right, and salutary that we should at all times and in all places give thanks to you, Holy Lord, Almighty Father, everlasting God, who with your only begotten Son and the Holy Spirit are one God, one Lord. In the confession of the only true God, we worship the Trinity in person and the unity in substance of majesty co-equal. Therefore, with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, we laud and magnify your glorious name, evermore praising you and saying, Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of Sabaoth, heaven and earth are full of thy glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Remember us in your kingdom, Lord, and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread that we may I messed up. Let's start over. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Our Lord Jesus Christ, on the night in which he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to the disciples and said, Take, eat, this is my body, which is given for you. This do in remembrance of me. In the same way also he took the cup after supper, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink of it, all of you. This cup is the new covenant in my blood, which is shed for you for the forgiveness of sins. This do as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. O Christ, thou Lamb of God, that takest away the sin of the world, have mercy upon us. O Christ, thou Lamb of God, that takest away the sin of the world, have mercy upon us. O Christ, thou Lamb of God, that takest away the sin of the world, grant us thy peace. Amen. Lord, I am not worthy that you should come under my roof, but speak the word only, and my soul shall be made whole. The body of our Lord Jesus Christ, which was given for me, preserve my body and soul unto everlasting life. Amen. What shall I render unto the Lord for all his benefits to me? I will take the cup of salvation and call upon the name of the Lord. 
I will call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised, and so shall I be saved from my enemies. The blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, which was shed for me, preserve my body and soul unto everlasting life. Amen. Kim is going to come and sanitize your hands. If you would rather not receive the sacrament, you can either say so as I approach, or if you are able, you may cross your arms over your breasts and I'll offer you a blessing. Hmm? Ah, this will be good. And I'll grab this one. the body of Christ given for you, the blood of Christ shed for you, and Kim is going to come and collect those cups, okay? Russell, would you like communion? the body of Christ given for you. The blood of Christ shed for you for the forgiveness of your sins. body of Christ given for you, the blood of Christ shed for you for the forgiveness of your sins. of Christ given for you, the blood of Christ shed for you, this is a little cup, you got it? The blood of Christ shed for you for the forgiveness of your sins. The body of Christ given for you. The blood of Christ shed for you for the forgiveness of your sins. The body of Christ given for you, the blood of Christ shed for you for the forgiveness of your sins.
sorry, I know I'm having trouble with my glove there. The body of Christ given for you. The blood of Christ shed for you for the forgiveness of sins. Marvin, would you prefer a blessing today instead of communion? Yes. Okay. I still have to put a glove on, but I will gladly do that for you, sir. The blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down and remain upon you now and forever. Amen. You're welcome. body of Christ given for you. The body of Christ given for you. The blood of Christ shed for you for the forgiveness of your sins. The blood of Christ shed for you for the forgiveness of your sins. Amen. The body of Christ given for you. The blood of Christ shed for you for the forgiveness of sins. The body of Christ given for you. The blood of Christ shed for you for the forgiveness of sins. The body of Christ given for you. The body of Christ given for you. The blood of Christ shed for you for the forgiveness of your sins. The blood of Christ shed for you for the forgiveness of your sins.
the body of Christ given for you. The blood of Christ shed for you for the forgiveness of your sins. And then Patty, she left. Oh, you want to? Hi, Patty. the body of Christ given for you. And the blood of Christ shed for you. Just tell me when you're ready. There we go. Kim, would you like communion? Can I give you a blessing? The Father, the Son, <coughs> and the Holy Spirit bless and preserve you today and forever. Amen. Did we miss anybody? Okay, thank you. May thy body, O Lord, which we have consumed, and thy blood, which we have drunk, cling to our souls, and grant that no wicked stain remain in us, whom these pure and holy mysteries have refreshed. For you live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ strengthen and preserve you to life with God that has no end. Amen. O oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, and his mercy endures forever. Let us pray. Pour forth upon us, O Lord, the spirit of your love, that by your mercy you may make of one will all those whom you have fed with one heavenly food. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, ever one God, world without end. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Bless we the Lord. Thanks be to God. Brothers and sisters, bow your hearts. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift his countenance upon you and give you peace. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 
Gracious Heavenly Father, we have again worshiped in your presence and received from you forgiveness, life, and salvation through Christ Jesus, your Son, our Lord. Keep us safe this day as we travel from here. Watch over us by your heavenly angels. Strengthen us in our faith to hear your word and to answer your invitation that we may eat the blessed feast that you have set before us forever at the end of the age and pray ever and always. Come, Lord Jesus, come quickly. Amen. Our postlude hymn is Softly and Tenderly.
Amen, and God bless you. As always, it's a pleasure to worship with all of you here and all of you watching however you do. Um, because I can't shake your hands and chat with all of you like I'd love to, I'll play us some music until everyone has been um, taken back home. And if you have a request, just holler it at me and we'll see if we can play it, okay? Any requests for hymns? How about blessed assurance? Blessed assurance. I think we can do that one. I do. She wrote tons of awesome hymns. Even some that have still never been set to music. is mine oh what a foretaste of glory divine heir of salvation purchase of God born of the spirit washed in his blood this is my story submission all is at rest I and my Savior am happy and blessed watching and waiting looking above filled with his goodness lost in his love. This is my story. This is my song. Praising my Savior all the day long. This is my story. This is my song. Praising my Savior.
trust in Jesus just to take him at his word just to rest upon his promise just to know the Seth the Lord Jesus Jesus how I trust him how I proved him more and more Jesus, oh, for grace to trust him more. Yes, I've learned to trust in Jesus and from sin and self to cease. Now I'm Jesus simply taking life and rest and joy and peace. Jesus, Jesus, how I trust him, how I proved him more and more. Jesus, Jesus, precious Jesus, oh, for grace to trust him more. I'm so glad I learned to trust him, precious Jesus. Savior friend and I know that he is with me he'll be with me to the end Jesus Jesus how I trust him how I proved him more and more Jesus Jesus precious Jesus us all for grace to try. 